So we all know about the Anakin and Obi Wan set, right? This one right here with the uh, burn marks on Obi Wan and Anakin. See, this is an accurate scene, and these two make sense for it. Then we got Grievous the Spider, which is like eighty dollars. Okay, that's overpriced. Come on, this is overpriced. And um, like if you, oh wow, big Grievous gets me. Okay, uh, anyway, back to it. Uh, you got Obi Wan Kenobi, an Airborne clone trooper, and General Grievous. Okay, so, okay, we're supposed to get a Phase Two Cody, and even a Grievous is not even accurate. Like he's clearly. In the movie, he is Dan. Okay, the ship is accurate. Yes, I like that. But the uh, we're supposed to get a face to Cody. Instead, they give us an updated airborne trooper. I'm okay with that, but I wanted to see a face to Commander Cody. But that ain't happening. But that's not what the rant was. The rant, oh, yes, it is the rant video now. Uh, okay, uh, and now we got this Obi Wan Kenobi. Completely inaccurate to the scene with General Grievous because he doesn't have the burn marks yet. He did not confront Anakin yet. Even a blaster is not even accurate. So, Lego, what's the deal? And with this Anakin Jedi Interceptor set, I have this set. And, nice build. R2, no. Okay, I'm trying to forget. Nice build. R2D2 is just R2D2. But look at that torso on Anakin. You see it? Same exact one as the set. So, Lego, what the heck's the deal? Like, come on now. I get it, the head's different. Yes, I can actually say that's one good thing about the two Anakins. They have different heads. Yes, the hair piece. Well, that's debatable. Anyway, like, come on now. Like, Lego, get this right. They won't change it. No, no, no. They'll sell it to you just like this. Inaccurate. Like, come on. And this is supposed to be from the beginning of episode three? Like, you didn't have a, uh, any of these burn marks yet. Like, come on. What's going on? And, like, the Obi-Wan minifigure is exactly the same. See this Obi-Wan minifigure? And you saw the one in the Grievous set? Yeah, they're, they're the exact same. And one's accurate to the scene. This is accurate to the scene. These are both accurate to the scene they're supposed to represent. Which is the dual Mustafar. Because they're all... Because their clothes gets all, like, tattered and burnt up. And plus, the box art doesn't have, like, in a... In a uh, a prequel style box art. They use the original trilogy box art, which yes and no. Yes and no because okay, one should have like Anakin at the top, and then this one should have like Obi Wan at the top, so that way they could be different. But no, they have the same ones. This one was thirty dollars, which I could see. But this is eighty dollars. Like, come on, why would you overprice that set? This one, like the build is fine. I give it an eight out of ten. The figures, I give like a two or three, maybe five, like two and a half out of ten, maybe three and a half out of ten. But the ah, uh, like, okay, the Grievous is inaccurate because he is literally tan. And the Obi Wan's minifigure is inaccurate. Like Lego, like okay, get this thing together. Like, come on, take this set back, replace the Obi Wan, give us a face to Cody, and give us an accurate representation of Grievous. The 2010 Grievous Starfighter set was tan, and he was accurate, and I appreciate that. But this being a uh, uh, eighty dollars set, like, come on. Now, Phase 2 Cody was in this set. I can uh, see it. I can see the, where the $80 is coming from. But this is not justified for $80. I would say if they would charge it, take it back, redo everything, get it, and then 
re-release it. I'd say they charge about, I doubt they would charge like six, wait for it to go on sale, like maybe like uh, $70 is kind of pushing it. Uh, $60 or $50. Heck, maybe even $40. That way you can buy two of them for $80. I don't know. And now, if this one happened, like, had, like, the green and everything that you see in, like, the, uh, at, towards the end of Revenge of the Sith, that'll make, uh, somewhat sense. Not accurate, but somewhat sense. That is, uh, pretty much it for this rant video. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.